I pick up a memory I thought I lost it long ago Remember the freshness Good morning, Sven. Good morning. Nederman had a positive development uh, in the fourth quarter, supported by previously strong order intake. Sales increased by 20% currency neutral, uh, with all uh, divisions uh, contributing positively. And an adjusted EBITDA that reached the second highest level ever. How would you like to summarize the year? The year has been very interesting. It's been challenging in many many ways uh, we have still seen uh, lockdowns especially in asian countries we have still uh, challenges when it comes to supply issues uh, we have macroeconomics that are uncertain and so on so i'm very proud of the organization that has been able to manage the situation and uh, counteract on all these and uh, I would say being able to supply the, uh, our customers in a very good way. And I think that is important. Of course, sometimes that has had an, a negative effect, a, a negative impact on our uh, profit because we have to juggle a lot of balls. Uh, but so far, I think our customers are pleased with what we've been achieving. I'm very pleased with what the organization has been doing. And we have also handled a lot of the enormous inflationary pressure uh, uh, during the year, uh, especially on raw material, etc. A rather good year. How has the fourth quarter been? The fourth quarter has been uh, uh, good, very good order intake. Uh, uh, Profitable, better profitability, slightly lower margins, uh, partly doing, uh, doing what we've been doing to support our customers and the effects of the uh, inability to have a consistent flow in our manufacturing. And then we have had also some issues with bad debts in the Chinese market. The Chinese market overall has been a challenge, especially later in the, uh, in the year, with some uh, bad debt, some uh, issues when it comes to uh, the, uh, the willingness to buy foreign products in China, etc. So uh, overall, well handled again, good uh, order intake, good uh, uh, sale, so uh, we are pleased with the organization's uh, ability to handle challenging situations. You mentioned sales and in Q4 you had a record high sales, 1.5 billion sec, sec compared to 1.1 last year. Um, what's the main reason behind that? I think the, the, the reason is, of course, that we get an acceptance. We are the cleaner company and we start to see that when we discuss with larger customer groups, uh, uh, we can handle both measuring, controlling, filtration, etc. And we also have a message that we can support them. And we believe that that's the right way to go forward. We have started this journey a few years ago and we now say that we are the clean air company. We can help you with this and we get uh, it pays off. Just the beta margin was almost uh, the same in, in the fourth quarter as for the whole year, slightly decreasing compared to previous period last year. What do you do to keep it and even uh, improve the margin going well, forward? Well, it's very simple. Increase prices, efficiency in the organization and stop uh, having bad debts in China. Fine. 
very easy to say, but then we have to do it. And, uh, and it's not a walk in the park. We will have to work very hard to continue. We have been doing it uh, historically and we will continue to do so. We had a, um, a strong development uh, on EBITDA uh, over a long period and we will continue this efficiency. You mentioned uh, that Nederman is the world leading environmental technology company and and uh, the clean air company. You mentioned some about that, but can you, can you, can you develop that a little bit? No, but I, the, the thing is we are in our field. We are unique when it comes to be, being able to just have world leading measurement and controlling technology through the MCT division and uh, our subsidiaries there. Here we, we will continue to develop our own. We have our own IoT solutions and uh, we are getting more and more acceptance for that. We will continue to develop that and they continue being leading in this measurement technology and we see that there is a growing demand because the European Union has a lot of uh, activities when it comes to measurement and and cleaning the air. It's been so the WHO, they have increased the demand. They have seen that we need to have even better air quality indoors, outdoor, and that will increase the interest for our product. So again, we believe that the strengths we have is that we are, as I said, the clean air company being capable of just measuring and then, because knowing is the background, you have to know what you're doing, then we can filter it. We're world leading in filtration of these gases and these uh, other pollutants. And then we can also report it and we know what we're doing. So I think that is a, a sort of the foundation for future success. Uh, during the year, you acquired uh, the Swiss, Swiss company MBE. Um, you acquired a duct company in Australia and a larger acquisition in North America, RoboVent, where you became number one in North America welding market. Handling uh, acquisitions can be challenging. How is it going? <laughs> Handling acquisitions is also, uh, always challenging, but you need to, uh, uh, and we have some experience over the years. We have been doing a lot of acquisition. A lot of our growth has come from acquiring adjacent uh, companies, technologies and market uh, penetration. We uh, see very uh, successful integration. It's hard work from both sides. It's hard work from the acquired company also to adjust certain and take advantage of what we can bring. But it's also important that we are listening to what they have. We bought them for a reason. We bought them because they would bring something and strengthen Nederman. So it's a dual part. Uh, you have to talk to each other and develop it and it's going very well so far. Good to hear. 2022, as you mentioned in the beginning, has been challenging in, in many ways. What is the focus uh, for this year, 2023, for a successful Nederman? I think the, the focus hasn't changed. Uh, we have a long-term focus developing the clean air company, our offering when it comes to digitalization, efficient cleaning, efficiency, easy to do business with. That's a long-term goal and it hasn't changed. Then we have a lot of day-to-day -day issues to handle, but that is something that the organization has been used to the, the last few years to handle all these upcoming uh, issues. They are not the same as they were two years ago uh, when it comes to uh, supply, etc., etc. But that is day-to-day -day business. The focus is to continue to grow and develop Nederman as the leading uh, company in this field. Thank you for that, Sven. Thank you very much. Let's sing for the good ones. We love, we live in a great time Don't let it slip
Если 